messes everything up. Okay, that does it. Well, everybody's in the chat. So yeah. All right. All right. I, I guess we're back. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, Twitch did some weird thing where it's actually harder for me to stream now. Also, we're on a hype train. Yeah, the hype train went when I when I wasn't even streaming. All right. It's a level four, so that means somebody probably gave like 10 subs. I don't know if Streamlabs will know about it. Um, let's see. That was a day ago, an hour ago. Yeah, Streamlabs doesn't even know what you guys did. So what, what happened? <laughs> What's going on? Hello. Somebody must have given like 10 subs because we're at level four. Yeah, we lost the internet for like three minutes and now it's back. Probably just reset itself or something. I gave three subs. JAA928. Thank you. Output Coupler gave a sub. It seems like the... Okay, I thought it was broken, but it's fixed now. Okay, that's good enough. All right, thanks for the train when I was offline somehow. It seemed like when I went offline, you guys liked that, so you started donating. And you hoped that I didn't come back. But I tricked you all. All right, we have 121 viewers. I don't know if we're going to have two, three, or four videos now when I upload this. So, um, yeah. All right, now we have commercials. Good, good. It's good to have commercials when we're having a train. That way nobody can watch the stream. Nah. This is funnier. Nokia gave five subs. Good, good. Putting us at level five, probably. Thanks, Nokia. Yeah. Go hype train. The hype train went all the way to level five while we were trying to get the internet back. Very suspicious. Yeah. Yay, we're level five. All right, well, these things happen. You know, sometimes stuff happens. Yeah. Anyway, there's a tournament also, um, which nobody's entered yet, which is weird. Um, confused. All right, I guess I'll enter it. But I click join and it says I've already registered, but it doesn't list anybody registered in the tournament. What? Now chess.com's not working. When I when I put the tournament up, I have there's a list of people. There's no list of people. It says nobody. And it says zero players. Then when I click join, it says you're already in. So everything's working great today. Chess.com, Twitch, the internet, everything's working. You made me gave a sub. You made me. The whole world isn't working. Yay! Output coupler gave a sub. I will refresh. That'll fix everything except for one thing. Um, tournaments. All right, here we go. That did fix it. We have uh, 10 players. Now, I was going to do like an hour of analysis of my dad's games, but now it'll be slightly less than an hour. Yeah, Karen bought me this shirt. She likes this shirt. I guess she bought me all my shirts, actually. Yeah. Um, Storm2709 gave 100 cent to dues. It's weird. While this stream was offline... You guys donated more than ever before. You guys loved that the stream was offline. You were like, oh boy. Dr. 5W gave a thousand centidues instead of his usual 201. If you guys were good at math, you could explain what increase that was. Now I'm going to tell you a funny story. Then I'll look at this, my dad's game here. So I'm reading Twitter and I follow a couple of vegan things. And one of them was an article written in some vegan magazine or newspaper. I don't know. Anyway, the article said that Japan used to have, um, let's see, what did it say? It said 200. Oh no, it said, Japan used to have 400 vegan or vegetarian restaurants when they last did something a year or two ago. Then they did it again, and now it has 1,000. 
And then it said, that's a 40% increase. And I was like, is that vegan math? So that, that's not how math works. So Dr. 5W, by giving 1,000 instead of 201, that's also a 40% increase based on that math. Okay, um, can your wife and your mom be the same person? Yes, but you'd have to ask Donald Trump. Oh, no, wait, that's his wife and his daughter. Never mind. Yeah, well, we'd have to ask Karen about that because she's from Alabama. Yeah, this guy, he, he was going to he was gonna kill his wife, but he was like, I'd kill you if you weren't my sister also. So, yeah. Why are you wearing a replica Celtic shirt? Because I'm Celtic. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the game. Thanks, JAA, for the, the gifted sub. Yeah. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, which is at least half of you, uh, I'm playing a rivals match with Danny Wrench, 3 p.m. Tuesday, 3 p.m. Eastern. And then we play best of five games in Blitz, best of five games in Bullet. Then we play best of three or five puzzle battles. Then when that's over, that takes about an hour. Then I'm going to play Entitled Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern. So the more you watch, the more money you can donate. I am going to prep for that. I'm going to sleep all day, and then I'll wake up, and then I'll go back to sleep, right? Karen agrees. Yeah. Danny Wrench is good at puzzles. Is he not? He is not. All right. So it's basically a lose-lose because if I win, like, who cares? He's an IM. But if I lose, I mean, I'll be laughed at until Karen's throat is sore. So, yay, we got a level five train. We got Choo Choo. Yeah. Then after that, after I play Danny, then I can lose to all the cheaters in Title Tuesday. Now, according to Danny Wrench, uh, I complained I can't win a prize in Title Tuesday. He said, no, you can win the stream reward, which I think is a popularity contest, not actually who's playing well. So I guess I can win that. All right. So let's look at my dad's game. Now, this position... Biz Geyer played King B4. This is from the 1962 U.S. Open in San Antonio, Texas. Before you were born. Okay. Now, in this position, it should be a draw, but my dad made the losing move. Okay. And what Black wants to do is Black wants to play C3 and then King B3. Now, if White's Rook goes to E4... Obviously, C3 is illegal. And this engine claims if my rook goes down here and you play C3 and then you play king B3, you know, I check you. And my understanding of this ending from my own game with Ferris Gabara is it doesn't matter if there's two pawns or one, you just play the same way. Now, unfortunately, my dad made a move that loses which actually would be a drawing move if black didn't have double pawns. So it is a little bit different. Okay. He played the move that you should play if this pawn is gone. Okay. I mean, other than rook takes rook, assuming the rooks aren't hanging. I took that pawn away. And that move is to get the Philidor position by putting your rook on the third rank. And that doesn't work here. The reason, is, and that's what he played. That's the losing move. Now you're losing. So rook e4 was a draw. Probably rook here and rook here is a draw. But he played this. And that actually draws if there's no pawn on c5. This is the normal drawing method. However, that drawing method don't wake here. And as they said in The Simpsons, when Homer was trying to gain weight, lucky for you, this stuff don't wake. So now c3 check wins. Of course... If black didn't have double pawns, white would just take the pawn and draw. Now taking the pawn loses to what move? Is Karen watching the stream? Mm -hmm. What's the only winning move for black? Yeah, rook that wins, right. Now, if that pawn wasn't on c5, it's just a draw. Mm -hmm. So rook c3, rook e3 doesn't prevent c3, and the rook is very badly placed on e3 for preventing king b3. When black plays king b3, White wants to check on the B file. But obviously, if the rook is here, that's not going to happen. 
So rookie three was the losing move. Rookie four draws, and probably these moves draw, although it's table-based now. So now they didn't have – table bases in 1962 weren't as good. Right, sweetie? Karen says yes. Okay. So Bizgeier played C3. Yeah, and now and now it's just a win. In fact, this is a win now irrespective of whether the pawn's on C5. I once had one of the gawking rabble, this was in real life, tell me that irrespective wasn't a word. And I told them, you're thinking of irregardless, but irrespective, it is a word, irregardless of what you think. And then he looked at me funny. And then he looked it up and he apologized like a grandmaster. All right. And also, I later explained to the gawking rabble here that flammable and inflammable mean the same thing. Right? And you're an English major, so you agree. It, it was English literature. All right. Who was Ron Feingold? Your children's children are banned. Yeah, that was, that's my father. He died in six years ago. Today was his 83rd birthday, and uh, he died when he was 77 in the summertime. Several months uh, after him and my mom celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary. All right. Well, after rook takes c3, king takes, takes. King d2 wins, king c2 wins, c4 wins. Hard not to win. Okay. So the game concluded here, rook here, and my dad resigned. It's a well-known win uh, in this position with the with the C pawn, if you play the only logical move, then you give him the sugar me do. Check, check, check here. Check and takes. And also, if you play king C1 instead of king A1, it's the same thing. So the mem shows. Because that's mate and then it's we, we transpose. Same thing. So it's funny, the move... To attempt to stop c3, didn't stop c3, and that was a bad square for a rook because of that. So that, that was the losing move. The truth hurts. Yeah. Irrespective is a perfectly cromulent word. That's right. Wow. I'm the goodest. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll look at some other games that my dad played, which I have saved, you know, somewhere. All right. Now, this was a game that he played in another U.S. Open in Ventura, California. Okay, and let's see if Karen knows. How did they get to the tournament? Repeat it because I can't hear. They, were, they were playing in the Ventura, California U.S. Open. Mm -hmm. R.A. Kelly gifted five subs. Thank you. How do you get to Ventura? Yes, McTurgle got it. Good job. Venture Highway in the sun. Yeah, it was in, obviously, August of 1971. Now, my dad, he called the tournament Ven Tournament. Instead of Ventura and Tournament, he called it Ven Tournament. Okay, this was a U.S. Open. What's funny about this tournament is my dad played two or three guys from Michigan in Ventura, California. Okay, now, if I remember correctly... We lived in California during this tournament. Yeah, we lived in California, I think, from 70 to 71, but only my mom knows, and she probably forgot. I was born in Michigan in 69, and then I think 70, 71, we lived in California, and I think we moved back to in 72. We moved back to Michigan. Maybe. I might be a year off on that, but I'm pretty sure... During this tournament, my dad lived in, we lived in California, me, my brother, and my parents. Yeah. 999. R.A. Kelly gave 999 and five subs. Okay. Now, in this position, the engine says all zeros for every move. And not only is my dad a master player in 1971, so is his opponent. And you may recognize his opponent's name, but you can't figure out from where. Then when I tell you, there's going to be like two people in the chat. be like, oh my God, that's him. Right now, Karen's like, who the hell's that guy? All right. 
Can anybody tell me how they know this guy's this guy's name? How, how, how come you know this guy, James Marfia? Let's see if anybody knows. He's actually famous for something in chess. Anyone? Anyone? No? Nothing? You know, old Jim, Jimmy Martin. Okay. All right. The answer is one of the most famous chess books ever written is Zurich 53. You agree. Okay. Zurich 53 was an interzonal. Who won the Zurich 53 interzonal? Let's see who gets it first, Karen or the chat. Yeah, who won the interzonal in Zurich 53? It's a very famous book. Anybody? Smyslov is correct. Bonarici, Blunderkeeper, Nick Yazimo. Pillsbury was not a good answer, and you spelled Pillsbury wrong. All right. Anyway, there's a very famous book written by David Bronstein, and as account 100000 has pointed out, it was translated by the guy who has black, Jim Marfia. He speaks Russian, even though he's American. I guess he learned Russian in school. I've spoken to him many times and I've played him. He doesn't sound like he speaks Russian, but he's perfect Russian. So if you have the book Zurich 53, if you have it like right now near you in your house by David Bronstein, if you look at the first you know, pages that tell you translated by, it'll say that guy's name because he translated it. Okay. Never notice the translator. Well, there you go. Now you know. Yeah. <laughs> Google says it was one by network connectivity problems. Yeah. Okay. Born in Oz. That changed my family member except for one thing. That's right. Okay. Frankly, ridiculous. Now, this is something you guys do a lot. Uh, you guys are playing chess. Everything's fine. There's no problem. And you make the worst move in chess history and resign. Okay. So weaker players like to trade every move. They always trade if they legally can. And when I tell them not to, they go, uh-huh, uh-huh, like Bill Murray did in the Chibuga skit. What you need to do to improve your chess is watch Saturday Night Live, watch the cheeseburger skit from, you know, the mid-70s, okay? And look at Bill Murray's face when he's standing at the counter and the guy's ordering. That's what you guys always look like to me. Bill Murray goes, uh-huh, uh-huh, and he doesn't he doesn't speak English. So when the guy's done, he goes, gee, bugger? Okay. When I talk to you guys or any of my students, that's exactly what they do. I go do this and do this. And they go, uh-huh, uh-huh, gee, bugger? That's what they do. Now I'm a vegan, so that doesn't even make any sense. Okay. Very important. Right. And then Jim, Belu Jim Belushi, John Belushi shows up and pushes Bill Murray out of the way and says, okay, what do you want? Okay. Right. Now, so in this position, Black decided we have to trade everything. The engine says every move is equal. You can't not be equal. But he made the worst move ever. Rookie eight. Okay, losing the game immediately. Or, as Yasser Seron would say, immediately. Because he's a real genius of the highest caliber. Okay. Yeah, West Burger is actually spelled differently than the actual burger. Okay, so what's the winning move for White recommended by Matt Larson? This guy says he found Zurich 53, Jim Murphy on the first page. God damn. I think actually he wrote a forward. Forward by the translator. It can't be G4. And my dad played G4. Notice the queen is defending the rook. The rook. The rook. The rook is... And now, the only way to save the rook and not give your queen away is to play queen g6. Instead of playing queen g6, he resigned. And then obviously h5. And that's it. Yeah. So the game went g4 resigns. Proving Matt Larson correct. So rookie 8 was bad. And, when, and I told Karen this yesterday. Once it was today. When, when, when you're attacking something and somebody's defending something, that's advantage attacker. So you don't want to be in that situation too much. You want to be the attacking side. White was threatening Vishwa nothing in 1971. And then, and then rookie, rookie eight, 
and then Ventura Highway. Yeah. And then and then they put the flowers in the vase that they bought yesterday. Okay, stick to translating. Right. Okay. Next game. You're so next. Okay. Now the next game, my dad has the white pieces against the guy that I've played. And his rating is, you know, usually in the 1900s. Okay. Or as I like to say, 1900s. Now, before I show you the game, I want to show you another game. And actually... I had this on stream about three days ago and the gawking rabble in the chat, they were like, I don't understand when, okay. And then that I was going to answer their question, but before I answered their question, they actually had to leave and get their diaper changed. So I couldn't, I, thanks Nick is emo. Now this was a game that I played on stream probably against Bonarici, but maybe not. Okay. And in this position, and this was like a three-minute game or a one-minute game. Okay, in this position, I'm in check, and then my queen's hanging, so I play queen d2. And then later in the game, someone in the chat said, after you won his queen, why did you give your queen back? Why did? What are you doing? So that meant that when I play queen d2, they didn't see that I was in check and my queen was attacked. They were like, why'd you give your queen away? Well, well, I have to, and it's theory, but they didn't know any of that. Okay. The way to get good at chess is when you learn something, if that's possible for you, which obviously it isn't for most of my students. If you learn something, you want to apply it to other positions. Okay? So if you learn something in chess, you apply it to other chess positions if you can. Now, this game was played in 19 Dickety. Probably in the early 80s. Okay, my dad was white. The game isn't really of note. It's not an interesting game. Okay, but it ends really quickly. Okay. My dad liked to play his own openings. My dad didn't play 20 moves of Sicilian theory. If you played my dad in a tournament game and it was move three, you, you were out of your prep. Okay, and then some. Okay. So my dad won a pawn. And before he took the pawn, can, can you hear me? Okay, he decided to trade queens first, which is correct. He took the queen. And now this will shock Karen. Are you looking at the position? I was saying alert his queen to attack. Right, but do you see the position? Yeah. Okay, this will shock you. Yeah. Right now, if Karen dies, it's not because of coronavirus, it's because of the next move. Black is rated about 1950, like when I played, maybe in 2000. He didn't take the queen. Yeah, I was thinking. Right. This is a slow game, and he didn't take the queen. What did he do? Um. Yeah. Yeah, he played bishop b4 check. Okay. He thought, I'll check. White's going to make a move, and then I'll take the queen on d8. Then what did my dad do? You know, for, and then the guy had to furrow his brow in a vain attempt to understand the situation. My dad made the best move, and therefore, and the game ended. The guy resigned. See, now Karen wasn't paying attention when I showed you the earlier variation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how do you save your king and your queen? If you move your king, you're going to lose your queen for Vishwa nothing. Mm -hmm. So this is called a desperado, but it's not a good example of a desperado. I'm not even sure if I'd call it a desperado, but good enough. So do you want to lose your queen for nothing? Say no. no. So how do you lose your queen but get something for it? Um. That's right. It's a Zwischenzug move when a Zwischen loses. That's right. All you have to do is read the chat, and then you'll see all the answer there. Read that chat. Well, I know you have the queen. If you, why did you lose it to begin with? Who? Your dad. Maybe. He took a queen. Oh, I was thinking. Yeah. Right. And then he played queen d2, 
And then white, white wins a piece because now he gets a piece for his queen instead of nothing. Oh. And so Black resigned. That guy was rated over 1,900, but I don't think he was over 2,000. He was still higher than 99% of you. And it was a slow game. God damn. All right. I also would have accepted queen takes f8 double check because I'm a grandmaster. All right. Let's see who pays attention to the chess world. We'll call on Karen. She'll get the wrong answer. Then we'll call on you. On chess 24, they're mimicking chess.com where they have a blitz tournament that never ends. Mm -hmm. Like these two guys play a match and then it goes on for months. And the players are very, 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 very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. And when chess.com did this the last time, they went for months and months and months. In the final, Hikaru beat Wesley So. Okay. okay. Chess 24 is also doing this. And in the quarterfinal, which was today, or was it the semifinal? The semifinal. Semifinal, I think. Faruja played Meyer. Okay. Okay. And it's the first to get eight and a half. Right. So they play until somebody has eight and a half. Okay. Faruja won. He got eight and a half. What, how many points did Meyer get? Oh, I don't know. You guess. Um, you know the strengths of the players. How many total possible points? Eight and a half Faruja got. Meyer got less than eight and a half. What did he get? Uh, six. Well, he can't get six because eight and a half. Six and a half? I don't know what the format is. Chess. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I don't know. So six and a half. Okay. Five and a half. Put me on the spot here. Well, it's one of them. Yeah. Anyway, the answer is two and a half. Now, the reason that's funny, so he got crushed, right? Yeah. Okay. The reason that's funny is he did the best. In the previous matches, Faruja won much easier. You think eight and a half, two and a half is a pretty big blowout? His previous matches were eight and a half, one and a half, eight and a half, half. What am I explaining to you? Farouz is pretty good. Now, who's he going to play in the finals if that happens? Who's the best? I don't even know who I'm playing. Just, just name the best player you can think of. Carlson. There you go. Right. <laughs> Carlson wins all his matches pretty easily, too. He won his last match nine to one. Nine, nine, nine. Welch's grape juice. Who do you guys think is going to win? Carlson or Faruja when they meet in the finals? Carlson. Unclear. Is that yeah, Faruja played Carlson bullet a couple days ago and beat Carlson. Yeah. They played 200 games and he beat him. Yeah, the correct answer is Faruja. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, because he's too old, Magnus, too old. He's never been this old. Yeah. See, look at this guy purposely misspelling Carlson and Faruja. Obviously, on purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Carlson, too old, too slow. Right. Faruja seems nicer than Carlson. What, do you think Carlson's going to win the Nakamura? Good sport. Okay. Now, uh, and then Queen D2 resigns. Now let's look at the next game. What a story in there. Okay, this is the famous game. So what game is this, Karen? My dad's most famous game. Well, I really played, uh, Fisher. There you go. Fisher Fine Gold. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll go through it pretty quickly because we have a tournament coming. I have another game I want to show you. We've seen this game 20 times. Now, <laughs> before the game, my dad was told Fisher's a bad endgame player. So get to an ending. And my dad said, okay, I'll play the French defense. I'm not sure how those are related, but they did get to an ending. Fisher played a famous ending that's in many books. So everything everybody said was crazy. Okay, 1963. This was several months before Fisher won the U.S. championship with a perfect score. What was his score? The U.S. Championship, Fisher won. He won every game. That's pretty good, right? I don't know, I don't know 12. That's good, 11. Very good. Yeah, he won 11 out of 11. Now, as you know, 
if you go to the, the U.S. Championship in St. Louis, Rec sponsors the Fisher Prize. If somebody wins all of their games, like Fisher did, he gives them an extra $64,000. Because they're 64. It's funny, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Then somebody asked Rex in front of me at a dinner, do you get insurance for that? And he said, no. Man, if you knew Rex, 64000 he'd take it out of his left back pocket. Anyway, the chances somebody gets a perfect score in the U.S. championship are the same as like the whole world would be in a pandemic and we're all going to, oh, wait a minute. Um, yeah, I think nobody's been 3-0 and since he started that. So 11-0 and would be tough. Yeah. All right. Now, let's look at the look at the French defense. Now, in this position, they played a Winnowar, as in the Winnowar games that were played by Napomniachi in the Candidates Tournament that was postponed. Okay, and in those games, White played E5, the most common move, but Fisher liked to play his own variation, which he played many, many, many times, which is to not play E5. And so they got this theoretical position. Nowadays, grandmasters don't play white in this position. However, my son Spencer, who may or may not still be on the stream, he's had white in this position. He used to play this. Okay, so this is reasonable. And white had a slight advantage because, as Fisher used to walk around saying, two bishops, what else? Okay, so white has the two bishops. And uh, C4 is explosive, and they traded everything. Always trade everything. All right. I trade you. You trade me. We're the trading family. All right. And they traded everything. All right. Never play F6. Okay, and then they got to this key position. Now, uh this was the tournament, as you all know. Most of them don't know it. This is the tournament where Fisher did something very famous. This is one of the five most famous things Fisher's ever done. What did Fisher do at this tournament? Let's see if you guys know. One hundred cent to do's is correct. I want all you guys to be correct. So Fisher did not win every game. He drew a game. He got six and a half out of seven. Now his 20 game winning streak wasn't in 63. It was in 70, 71. All right. So none of you know, there we go. Yeah. Notch got, or no, no toe. What does that say? No toe. Number, number toe, no toe. That's right. He fell asleep while he was playing Bizgeier. And then Bizgeier woke him up, and then Fisher won. He was asleep at the board. Now, most of you don't know why he fell asleep, but I do. He fell asleep because he didn't sleep all night because he was playing Blitz Chess for money. With a guy who was about 2,300, he spotted the guy a rook. And Fisher won every game, and the guy owed him $3,000. Now, in 1963, $3,000 is $27 billion, okay? And the guy gave Fisher like $100, so that's enough for you, kid. And Fisher never collected. He got like 100 bucks. So Fisher stood up all night playing Blitz, then fell asleep against Bizgeier. Bizgeier blundered by waking him up. Guy, all right. The guy didn't give him the money? Give him like 100 bucks. Yeah. Fisher was 20 years old, and this guy was huge. Now you're making sense. Yeah. Nowadays, you just have him killed. Right. But this was in 1963. That wasn't the style at the time. Okay. Now, listen to this story from, from that series. Okay. You listening? All right. First of all, how do you spot a master, a rook, and win every game? Now, the story I heard was Fisher got 19 and a half out of 20. Okay. But then there was a correction. Correction, I slept with KD too. Man, that was a great Chappelle show. Okay. What did she say? No, you slept with me too. What, what was his name? What was his name? Charlie Murphy's name. What was Charlie's Murphy's name in that episode? 
It's like Mad Dog. What, what was his name? Come on, you guys know. Not Rick James. Rick James, that's the worst answer ever. Rick James is played by Dave Ch is played by Chappelle. No, it's not Smoke Dog, not Quills. Well, Quills is a good answer. Trading spouses. No. Oh, you guys are all the worst. He can't even help me with a Chappelle show reference. No, it wasn't Tyrone Biggums. Who's Chappelle? What? Bill? Beethoven? Boo! Darkness. No. No, it wasn't Tyrone. It wasn't Ashley Larry, but you're getting closer. Anyway, point of the story is Wes Berger watched them play. And he said, oh, no. It wasn't 19 and a half half. It was 20 zero. Yeah, we got two answers now. Tyree. Yeah. No, Tyree. You slept with me, too. Correction. I also slept with Katie. That was a good, good correction. Yeah. See, the guy was mad that this guy slept with his girlfriend. He said, I didn't sleep with your girlfriend. This other guy did. And then she said, no, you slept with me, too. He goes, correction. I slept with her, too. I like that. And then at the very end, the guy who, who Chappelle is playing says, I also slept with Katie at the very end. So, man, he got him good. Not Wayne Brady. You guys, you, oh, you guys are doing the wrong. All right. Man, Karen was in stitches. We took her to the doctor. Remember with Wayne Brady? I love it. Yeah, she likes the Wayne Brady skit. I love it. Yeah, that's right. As, 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 as Chappelle said about Katie, she has, I, I can't say it on the stream. All right. Not Frederick Chopin. Boo. Who knows more about Chopin? The 7 billion people on the earth who aren't my mom or my mom? The answer is your mom. Okay, Claire MCG, uh, 100 cent to do's. Uh, who's Ron Feingold? My dad. Okay, who's Katie? No, terrible. By the way, the, when when that guy's dad got stabbed in that, in that skit, later I was watching Law and Order from 400 years ago, and he was on Law and Order, that guy. So he must have recovered. Although the Law and Order was before that. So, okay. Right, Karen? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so now my dad played B5, which he later claimed was the losing move. However, if you look at engines, they think White's already winning. White has the two B shops, Vatals, and the White King is better than the Black King, and so on. And my dad played B5, and he was shocked shocked at, at Fisher's next move. Okay. And after the next move that Fisher played, you can no longer use one of my emotes. You can't do it. That's right. Honky blood and CL Smith. What's funny is the engine at death 27 does not play this move because Fisher was better. Bishop takes D six confusing my dad. My dad's like, he gave up the two bishops. What else? Okay, so my dad was confused. Okay, now that B pawn is attacked and you can't play bishop E8 because then this is attacked. So you played A6. C4 is explosive. And the rest of the game is sort of forced. You have to take it. Now the engine realizes white's more winning than before. You have to play A5. And in this position... Black is in Wang Chung. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. And this was in 63. All right, now, other than Spencer, who knows the answer, you can answer too. Where was this game played? It was at the Western Open 1963. What city and state? Detroit is the right state, but the, is the wrong, the wrong city. So it's in Michigan. Anybody know where in Michigan? Anyone? Can anybody, you know, roll in and give me the answer? Roll. There you go. Bay City pickle pass out. Bay City, Michigan. This hotel no longer exists. Okay. Notice black can't move anywhere. There's no move that black can make. Okay. But my dad found the move. The only move. Uh, why didn't Fisher play Bishop B5 right away? Because then you lose the deep one. So bishop takes, king takes. So he defended it, then, okay. All right, so my dad played f5. The engine agrees. And now, if Fisher blunders, like all of you would in blitz chess, and slow chess, 
and plays bishop b1, that loses the game. How does black win? Go, Karen. You see the position? Um, black to play and win. It's a tactical trick. Go, Karen. But stay there. E3 attacking the bishop. Mm -hmm. And then if you take, now what? Um, E2. E2. Good, good. So Fisher didn't do that. He didn't play bishop B1. He played bishop B3. And he said, you're in Zugzwang again. It was the first time anybody ever did the again. Okay. So there's, black has no legal moves. So he played bishop G6. And then bishop F5. And Fisher play bishop and says no more bishop g6. Well, he can't move the he can't move Vish with nothing. You can't move your you can't. So he played king e7. And if my if Fisher moves his bishop, then my dad goes back to d6. But Fisher played king e5. The king and pawning is an easy win. And after this, Fisher played the crowd pleasing bishop g6, confusing nobody in the audience. Are you confused? Um, I got confused. Oh, okay, let's go back. What confused you? Bishop e8, king e7, which move? Uh, king e5. No. What's the next move? Bam! This was the first instance where somebody said, gotcha, bitch. Oh, right. If you take this, this, then yeah, it's not good for black. Yeah. Okay. So the game concluded like this. And my dad resigned here. All right. You went too fast. Yeah. No. You mean after here? But now you just lose all your pawns. Boo. Boo. I don't want to see now. Now it's no good. See how you take this and you take that. Oh, horrible. And then resigns. Yeah. Boo. Okay. Last but not least, also least, I want to show you a game I did one in a famous trap against a guy who was 2200. Now it's possible he wasn't 2200 this game. Maybe he was 2000. But I've played this guy and he was 2200 when I played him. So I don't know what his rating was this game. But if he's 2200, he better get some chess lessons. God damn. Um, all right. So my dad was black and they played a famous trap in your favorite opening, also known as Archer's favorite opening. What would Archer play here with black? Um, mm -hmm. And what's that called? Yeah. Right. And here white played a well-known blunder. Well-known. Can't play it. Grandmasters play knight f3. He played e3. He walked right into the trap. Okay, and now if you take this, then I take your queen. So white plays king e2. Nokia gave another sub. We need 85 more subs to get to our, you know. Also, Karen probably doesn't know this, even though I tagged her. Um, I was looking through videos today, uh, and I noticed the video where Archer's playing Bug House with Favi. And I, 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 um, I shared it on, on Twitter. So you follow me on Twitter, you can see the famous bug house battle. Now, here's a question for Archer's mom. Yeah. Who's Fabi playing in the bug house game? The answer is funny. Who's Fabi's opponent? Mario. Mario, that's right. I don't know who Archer's playing. I can't see. They can't see. Right. Yeah, and, and Archer's six, I guess, right? Yeah. Yes, 2015. So that's a funny, yeah. He looks a lot younger. So if you if you go to my uh, Twitter, there's a video, or you just look on Karen's YouTube page. There's a, a video of Archer and Fabi playing Bug House in St. Louis. Okay, now, this is a famous trap here, this position. Mm -hmm. Okay, you take the knight and make a knight, confusing Karen. Okay. 
Notice how it's checked. Thanks, Danny Bear, for the subscription. So you go King E1. And then my dad had to put gas in his car because he took this guy to school. Let's see, sick. Man, my dad was all over this guy. Check. God damn. Gotcha, bitch. God. Man. So that guy was either an expert or a master. That was a slow game. So don't don't fall into that trap. You haven't seen a beating like that since the famous game uh, Brown Rihanna. Does Rihanna have a last name? Yeah. Bam, gotcha. Archer is the anglicized name of Arjun. Eh, close enough. You thought Archer was 13? You thought wrong. Archer is not 13. And then some. As far as I understand, Archer is 11 and Holden 16. But I could be wrong. I'm sticking to my story, though. Don't raise your hand. Correct. Fenty. Yeah, but she doesn't use her last name anymore. This is the Alban Counter Gambit. God damn. Yeah, so my dad didn't like to play theory. He liked to play unusual positions. As a consequence, sometimes he won quickly. His opponents got confused early. But most of his games will you know, play forever. Is that right, Karen? Uh, Archer's 11 and Holden 16? Yeah. All right. See? All right. Now, the tournament starts in 10 minutes. There's 22 players thus far. Wait, what did I just paste? Oh, I pasted the wrong thing. No. And the tournament's over. What? It is cold. I agree. No, I'm good. 400 viewers to do. We have less than everybody I'm following. Hikaru, 2.7 thousand and a chess 700. Chess bra, 600. Botez, 500. Although I do have more viewers than Nepo. More than Sangria. I'm not following them. Or maybe I am. Okay. More than Charlotte. They only have 27. Oh. But they raided me. I raid you. You raid me. Are they having a chess camp now? All right. So did, did Karen get in the tournament? The answer is never. So today's my dad's birthday. He would have been 83 years old. He died in 2014 at the age of 77. We have a memorial tournament for him every year around his birthday. And it was scheduled this weekend. And obviously, frankly, ridiculous. Yeah. Well, Anna rules because she kicks all the bad guys in their jewels. Also, she won with her atomic ray gun. I forgot how that, what's that called? Atomic, yeah, Spencer knows. No, not Flocka Naka Waka. If you're not sure about Naka, we could, we could ask uh, Mubot. What do you say, Mubot? There we go. Mubot knows about Naka. Naka would never make fun of me. Never. You're joined. You're a joiner. Your dad has no games on chess. Well, chess games isn't a complete historical record of chess. I mean, 99% of the tournaments my dad played in wouldn't have games published anywhere. They were, you know, local yokel events, you know. My gamma ray atomic gun. There we go. Is Naka pronounced Naka or Naka? Naka. Sviddler streams. How did I not know that? Sviddler streams? I don't think he does. Maybe he's on the roof. Hmm? I still don't see Karen in. Okay. Oh, yeah, he does play Hearthstone. That's right. If I knew what that was, I would help you. Yeah. All right, we'll play a couple of fun games, you know, before the tournament starts and such, mainly and such. Put some people in the club, get rid of the analysis board.
go, Ben, but stay there. Still theory. Oh, that attacks both of my knights. Darn. I hate when that happens. Uh, all right. Something. Pretty good compensation. Let's see. That's not good. That's good. I would say excellent compensation. Although I'd be lying. But I'd still say it. Gotta say something. Uh, there we go. Active king in the middle game. Good, good. Pretty good position. Not great, but pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right, less time and losing. Good, good. Uh, let's see, sacrifice and exchange. Sacagawea, that's an old Indian. Let's see. Yeah, I know I have no time. Leave me alone. Nobody's talking to you. Yes, I won on time. I thought I was going to lose on time. This says, that was the greatest game you ever played, Grandmaster Feingold. We've upgraded your account to Super Grandmaster status. Wow. If you can play worse than that, then you're, you're a, a better player than I am. Man, that's one of the worst games I've ever played ever. Damn. Man, what does the card say about that game? God damn. Did you see the game I just played? No. I'm guessing I played like 1%. I'm going to analyze that game. I'm, I'm guessing 1. I didn't play good that game. I don't think you understand how bad I play. It's pretty bad. Um, let's see. What does it say? All right. What does it say? Report. Yeah, I played 32. It's pretty bad for me. Yeah, and I, I won, and my opponent played sixty eight, but I still won. I made one missed win, two blunders, four mistakes, eleven inaccuracies. Good, good. All right, that was a good game. I don't play less than thirty two too often. All right, we have one five one six uh, subs. We're trying to get to 1,600 today. Thanks, Jay Jova. We, we need somebody to donate a ton of subs. 2,000 pounds of subs on my dad's birthday. My dad was born April 5th, 1937. All right. Uh, there's 46 players. Possibly Karen's one of them. Possibly not. She is playing. Good, good. There's pie minutes left. Pie minutes. Pie. All right, we can play Man Moth the game. And then after this game, the tournament should start. I'll try to play better than 32. Not a lot better, but like a little better, you know. Not a lot better. Uh, Loud EJ just gave 10 subs. Good. Yeah. Good. Go, Loud EJ. You can do it. Yeah, Loud EJ. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, Mammoth sacrificing a rook. Sacrificing. He puts the suck in suck, 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 suck you bus. That's what he does. 
God damn, if you're under 18, look away. This is the game Gotcha versus Bitch. I almost hung my queen there. Probably still winning. Hooray! One mistake, zero blunders. I played better that game. Uh, let's see. Tournament starts in 154, so we can do a game report. Thanks. Um, who gave me the subs? Loud EJ. Not as loud as me, but close. Right, sweetie? Yeah. What? Not close. Not close. God damn. How do you know? Maybe he's, you know. It's Lou Dej. No. All right. Let's see how I played that game. Probably about 94. That'd be my guess. Got to guess something. Let's see. What does it say? Accuracy 0%. What? It's still thinking. Why is it still thinking? There we go. 60. Oh, he played 60. I played 72.3. That's not very good. That was a real battle. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Let's get in the tournament. It starts Don Ziminute. It's only seven rounds because we already did an hour of my dad's games and me yelling and such. Claire MCG subscribed. We're getting very close to the most viewers we've ever had, most um, subs we've ever had. We're, we're sort of on the cusp. 1,600, obviously. Yeah. It's the first time I ever went into a store wearing a mask and I still had to pay. Terrible. All right, let's play in the Ron Feingold Memorial Blitz Tournament. Today's my dad's birthday. He would have been 83 years old. And you looked at some of his games. Now you can play, play some chess. 61 players. The tournament starts in five seconds with no tax. Plus tax. And he was a good sport. And here we go. I'm playing Frazzlety Dazzlety. Good name. Good. 62 players in the tournament. Pajukazoo gifted five subs. We're getting close to our goal of 1,600. Go six. Knight C6 is the aggressive move. C6 is the solid move. But this is a you know three-minute game. So you play the aggressive move. Now, I got to be careful because my opponent's 1,450 from the UK. So they're obviously on the Olympic team. They've probably analyzed this for hours and hours with somebody like Ginger GM. So I got to be careful. They'll be really well versed in the niceties of this position. So far, he's playing great, except for one thing. Is this like 40 moves in two hours? What's happening? All right. As long as somebody gives 60 subs, we're good. Let's get to 1,600. We've never had 1,600 subs. Never! Knight B5, that's a pretty good move, actually. This guy's not as bad as he plays. Wow. All right. I'll just, I'll win the end game up a pawn, better pawn structure, etc. Mainly, etc. Guy has the two bishops. What else? Was that say? The government give you half was reduced. No. You told me you were getting like $1,000 and you got $19. Boo. Yeah, I'm playing a rivals match with Danny Wrench for some reason. Um, on Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Then at 4 p.m. I'm playing in Title Tuesday. So come watch for hours and hours. Watch me lose to high, I mean, play high rated players. Boo. Tuesday, 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern. That's when all the, all the action starts. Fine gold wrench. It'll be gut versus wrench. Gut wrenching. I better start eating. That's right. Mark is correct. The stimulus money we'll get here in the next 5,000 years. Always retreat. 
Nah, he won't see that. He might defend it by accident. What? Always sack the exchange. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. That's not relevant. Gotta sack the exchange. Someday I'll learn why that's true, but you just have to do it. Always retreat. As long as I follow my rules, I should win. Always exact the exchange, always retreat. This guy should always blunder. Good, good. I don't think he always blundered. There we go. We sort of follow the always blunder rule. This is the game God versus damn. God damn, he blunders every move. I mean, good job. Will he find King E2? The answer is fries. Good, good. Moving on up, moving on up to the D file. On up to a deluxe apartment on D5. Moving on up to the D file. On up. We're finally going to make him resign. Yeah, go here and hang. Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, that's a good move because he'll take it. Good, good. They always take. What? How, always trade. No. Always retreat. Uh, chess T. Kidding subscribed. Good, good. My opponent can't do Vishwa nothing. He should do Vishwa something. See how exciting this is? You're so excited. Man, this is pondemonium. The guy's got no pawns. No pawns left for you on my way to better position. I got nothing for you, man. Uh-oh, King G4. Oh, you went there. All right. I thought he was going to blunder everything. I learned something important today about the Dr. Dre's. Normally, I wouldn't learn anything important about the Dr. Dre's, but I did today. Is it Dre? Is it Dre? That's what they say every single day. Um... So most of you don't know, there's two Dr. Dre's. And obviously in show business, you can't have two people with the same name. So how are there two Dr. Dre's? One you've never heard of and one's worth like 800 million. The one you never heard of was in the famous movie, Who's the Man? with Dr. Dre and Ed Lover. Now, what's the difference between the two Dr. Dre's? That's right, from Yo! MTV Raps. Correct. That's that's the broke ass one. Do you know what the difference between the two Dr. Dre's are? I believe it's Dr. Dre. Nice. The one who's not famous has an accent over the E. That's why there's two Dr. Dre's. And the other one doesn't. Right. Well, one, their formal trading is in um is in optometry. Michael J. Fox is J because there was already a Michael Fox. Good, good. Rayon33 subscribed. Right. Yeah, one is a PhD and one is, a, is an optometry. Right. Although the optometry one is obviously a joke from Family Guy. How'd Karen do? Aw. Aw. Man, I'm playing a, another British guy. What am I playing the British championship here? 1700 such people exist in britain wow man oh i've seen this guy before i know where i saw him he was in the big book of british smiles that's where i saw him i knew i knew it was somewhere yeah let's see i don't know takes all right check And then, I don't know, somewhere. Is it Dre? Is it Dre? Still theory. 
Is this guy Larry Nance or N. Lance? I'm really getting confused. Is this the Danish Gambit? Probably. And this guy has the two B shops. What else? Man, my game sucks. And blows at the same time. First time I've ever seen that. Two B shops. X to the pawn. Ugh, this position's not good. There's good and there's not good. This position's not good. Uh, let's see. I'll put it in H. Man, why is he crushing me so bad? Stop crushing me so bad. Play worse. Let me see the tray. Stop playing well. Boo. What am I down? Two pawns? Three, four, four, six. Man, I'm good at counting. That's something. This pawn looks pretty good. Is it knight f5 or is it knife f5? I think here it's just knight f5. Uh, GF recommended by Tall. Did I get that open G line? Ain't nothing but a G line, baby. You viewers are the ones that pay me. Well, now what do I do? King e6 resigns. Damn. Ugh, terrible. Frankly. Go, Ben. We were only down three connected pass pawns. Shouldn't worry. Go, me. Come on, I'm rooting for me. Time situation's not too good. Is it Dre? Is it Dre? Hmm. Something. If he doesn't see he's in check, I'll win on time. Darn. He saw he was in check. Mm. Situation's not good. Position's also not good, but that's a different story. Okay, now the position's okay. Whew. Yeah, finally my opponent's rating came to the rescue. Finally. Hooray, my opponent. God damn, that was a hard game. 
I guess he is in the British Olympic team. Probably gives lessons to Ginger GM. King F6, double X clam, recommended by my, by my brother. Right. Yay. How'd you do? I lost again. Aw. I should have lost every move until the very end. Yeah. Yeah, then, you know, my opponents let me win. 400 viewers to do. All right, we need 60 subs. Where's Adam Wallace or Output Coupler? Who else gives me subs? John Davis. Well, I guess that's a year ago. John Davis. Yeah. Isn't that his name? Yeah. Who else gives 60 subs? No, that's it. I think we should get Nicola. Yeah, I forgot about Nicola. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Naka's showing my videos. What? He's going to be banned and his children's children. Naka's showing my videos on his stream? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no, everybody's been talking about it. Yeah. Which video? I don't know. Nokia's gifting. Maybe he's sending people to my stream. He's going to raid me, except for one thing. Another train. I forgot about trains. Useless 70 subscribed. Trying to learn. Got the, the train going. Yay. Viewer made videos of clips of your vids. Good, good. It's Bonarici. Let's get the hype train. Ronald was my father. Correct. Naka's watching your funny compilation videos. That sounds good to me. Maybe some. Maybe that's where we have a lot of viewers. 400 viewers. Come on, Naka's my biggest fan. Why is that strange? And... You have Philip as your middle name. Good, good. Hikaru's showing my videos on his stream. Frankly, ridiculous. I hope I'm getting the Hikaru Nakamura Good Sportsmanship Award. Let's go, hype train. We need to get some hype going here. We're pretty we're pretty close to the hundred percent of the subs we want. Pretty, pretty close. Can I take this or do I get in trouble because it checks and stuff? I don't think so. Ronald was my father. He was a chess master. He died six years ago, but today's his birthday. Go, my dad. Dr. 5W. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I've got a bad case of two bishops. What else? Unusual version of the song you guys don't know. I got a bad case of missing Bishop E2. 99% would be even better. Let's see. He's giving this away. I get that two bishops back. Two bishops back. What else? I must get the two bishops. I must. Two extra pawns. What else? Uh, three extra points. I guess that's what else. Man, this looks good. Bam! This is the gotcha bitch variation. 201 cent to do's again. 94%. 999999 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 94%. Here? Oh my gosh. 201 cent to do's again. Hundred. Yay, we got to level two. Hey, I can't queen if your bishop's here. Boo! Was I saying boo or boo earns? <laughs> uh oh, his back rank looks weak. God damn, he's threatening mate. I can't play F6 because never play F6. Darn. Um, I guess that leaves knight f6. He put it in h. Put it in h. Um, I don't know here. Something. <clears throat> Man, Bonarici is giving me all I can handle, and then some. Mainly, and then some. Oh, that was dumb. What? <laughs> you made a mistake. So who won? I did. 
Yay. Yeah. When you say you missed mate in one, what do you mean? Oh, you could have mated him, but you won his queen. Yeah. That's not dumb. That's like, you know, like the same. Pretty dumb. It's, Pretty I mean, it's the same. It's, you won in one move either way. All right. Nokia just gave five subs. I believe, but I could be wrong. This is the most subs we've ever had. 1541. What do you think? Close, right? Yeah. Only trying to learn those. Yeah, did you sack a... Oh, it's my move. I didn't know it was my move. I was waxing idiotic as usual. Man, I got less time. My position's no good. It's stacking paper to the ceiling. Damn. All right, if he doesn't trade queens, he won't see his rooks hanging. There's a 0% chance of that. So that was good. If he doesn't take the queen, I'll win a rook. There's no way he'll... See, no way. Zero percent chance. Less than zero. Negative 273. Cold-blooded. All right, we're at level three. Another train. Yeah, chessgames.com, big database. They only have like one-tenth of my dad's games. And that's if they're lucky. Take your time, Bonarici. Don't look at the clock. Shh. No. No. Man, I won't get mated on G7? Good, good. Getting mated on G7 sucks. Hmm? My position looks good, good. Hooray for Ben. I was rooting for me. All right, we got to have another train. Yeah, I showed four of my dad's games and or positions, and now we're having a three-minute tournament, and we're in the middle of a train, and Hikaru's making fun of me on, a, on his stream, so it's all good. No. 201 centidues, another train. He's like, frankly, these videos of Ben are ridiculous. 64 player tournament go tournament this is round three round four will start nigel shortly as opposed to nigel pinchley hmm? good good all right, here comes the next round. Will I play D blind bugger or will I play D? Unclear. Probably D. Hey, I'm playing D. It's a picture of tall. Good, good. Knight F3, I never play that. Look at this, White and Rui Lopez. Frankly, terrible. Uh, what do I do here? How do you play the Rui Lopez? What? Castles. Uh, here? I don't know. We love Marshall. We are Marshall. Go, Marshall. Go, Ben. Go, etc. Mainly, etc. I try to get out of theory quickly. Come on, the train's ending. We need five subs. Another train. See, I got out of theory pretty quickly. Took the knight, rook h5. My opponent's like, what? This isn't theory. It's like, I'm going to play theory. Ridiculous. Frankly. No theory. Rawr. Although my opponent does have the two bishops. What else? F5. Nobody's playing theory here. Yeah, all right. Then plays bishop F4. I can sack the exchange. Good, good. Probably shouldn't sack the exchange, but I can. All right, we got 24 seconds left. I guess I have to sack the exchange. It's a, it's a rule on my stream. 
Come on, we need five subs. Somebody hurry and donate five subs. Train's gonna end. We got 12, 10 seconds left. Quickly, somebody five subs. Hurry, hurry, help me. Whoa, Mew, I tell you. Wow, we didn't make it. Yeah, you guys suck. All right, there's the new choo-choo choo thing. That's strong support. Boo, boo. You guys must have come from Nakamura's stream to not donate. Boo. All right, we got 1,541 subs. I got out of theory as quickly as I could. I sacked the exchange. I blundered this pawn because I didn't see it. You know, probably doesn't matter, right? Time to strangle my opponent. And then I won't go to jail because too much COVID. COVID? My opponent's really happy I didn't fork his, his queen and rook. Like, I want to give up that night. That night's the best night ever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever. Yeah. Let's see here, maybe. Maybe. I strangle you. You strangle me. His only counter plays on C3. I mean, or you know, like Queen F1 wins for him, probably, if he can get in there. I mean, you gotta get in there. Gotta risk it to get the biscuit. Although I could sack another exchange. Another exchange. Let's see, Knight G6. I think it's probably bad because his queen comes in here. Hmm. Maybe I can put it in H. Oh, my rook's attacked. I didn't even notice that. Uh, well, now I noticed it. Put it in H. I don't know, here? Something. How's my time situation? Is it good? Good. I hope so. Man, my rook's almost trapped. Is this the only square? Damn. I gotta watch it. Rook C8. All right. Take that. Put it in H. Is he going to mate me somehow? Yeah, probably. I was getting checkmated before this guy was born. Let's see, takes, and then let people become friends or something. All right. Maybe he won't see his queens attacked. Good, good. And then we're going to sneak in here. Let's see, can I sneak in there? Is he going to mate me? Eh. Eh, he might not mate me. Might. Probably not. As long as I can sneak in. I wonder if he underestimates the sneaky. All right, we need more subs. Another sub. Rookie six. Let's see here. Queen h7. Then what do I do? Queen g5? Or do I trade queens? I guess I'll go here. Good, good. Still theory. Man, this guy's trying to checkmate me and so on. He always wants to play bishop f1. What do I do? My flag's going to fall. No. Can I take it with a knight? Do I get mated? Bishop takes king g1. Probably. <clears throat> All right. I was getting mated before this guy was born. Always play bishop f1. I mate you, you mate me. Ah, yeah, he really is mating me. Yeah, damn. I, yeah, yeah, I know I have no time. Go to C8. There you go. Good, good. Thanks for the sub, Epic Cheeseburger in high definition. With Twitch Prime. Chibuga, chibuga, chibuga. Man, we're losing, we're losing viewers by the droves. They're staying in droves. All right, we have 64 players. We have three perfect scores. Me and D, Blindbugger D, and Mike Saylor. Don't analyze that game with an engine. Don't, don't do a game report. Shh. Don't do it. It wasn't a dry one. It's checkmate. Somebody explain to Twitchy what checkmate is. How'd that good wife do? Aw. My opponent had mate and one, but I mated him first. Also very suspicious. Yeah. Very suspicious. What? You ate yesterday. 
Let's see, Indian and Thai, there's no other food to eat. So ridiculous. Can you make those things? I can't make anything. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Uh plantains. Hmm. No, I can make my own food. I don't care. Oh man. Karen did the greatest thing that's ever happened in human history today. Let's see who gets it first in the chat. No, I don't think she'll get it, but let's see who gets it. Don't don't say anything. I want to see if they can get it. I don't even know what it is. Right, but it was the greatest thing ever. Somebody said the answer is fries. Well, close. Karen was plus seven, sad face. I was plus seven before Karen was I born. She bought 50 cases of Perrier. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. You love chess? Man, I can't believe you guys don't get, aren't getting the answer. Do you know what you did say that was great? No. Karen bought toilet paper. She got a lot of toilet paper. Good, good. And then she had to yell at them. They were like, ma'am, you can't buy this toilet paper. And then Karen let out with the expletives, and it was all over. Yay. Remember the toilet paper? Well, she She's not as impressed. I'm trying to. Aw. Yeah, that was great. We haven't bought toilet paper in a long time. We needed some. But yeah, we, we got toilet paper. We got it. All right. G5, because the audience demands it. They weren't even asking for it. They were demanding it. My answer was sent via text. Let's see. I thought there'd be some somebody's mom listed in there. Knock is watching videos of you being funny. Good, good. Let's see, whose turn is it? B4? Can I go here? I guess I did go there. I always, instead of just winning boring end games, I'm always on the edge of night. Let's see. Let's, friend request. All right, what'd he do? Here. Let's see. Defense. All right, we made the game interesting with our insane pawn pushes. I'm more insane than you. You're more insane than me. We're the Trump family. Pretty insane. Go toilet paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> toilet paper on eBay slightly used. Yeah, if you want to make a mask, just just use some toilet. Just use your underwear. That'll be a good a good mask, and then you can. You know. Insane, got no brain. It's maybe overextends it a little. I don't know. Maybe. And you never know. It could be. Let's see. If my opponent blunders every move, then he'll lose. Man, that looks terrible. Queen e8. He definitely won't see his queen hanging. So that, that's one of the pluses. Damn, he did see it. I just wanted to play h5, but I can't play h5 anymore. Put it in h. Does he see his knights hanging? Did he forget about it? I hope so. Damn. This guy doesn't forget Vish when nothing. Takes... I'll take this guy, I guess. And then what? There, there, maybe not. A5? All right, I have the two bishops and so does he. But I do have 30 seconds extra. Good, good. My moves are bad, but my 30 seconds extra is good. Go 30 seconds extra. Ah, I have to sack the exchange because, you know, I blundered the exchange. Uh, let's see. This isn't good. No moves are good. No. Let's see. This pawn's hanging at the end. King G this. All right. Got to keep that time advantage. Time advantage. All right, everybody has the two bishops. What else? 
but I do have 10 extra seconds. Also important. I'm threatening this, but more importantly that. Uh, here. Come on, don't see that so I can win. Damn. Let's see, I'll take this, and then I'll take this. And then I have to keep playing fast, I guess, instead of being an old man and confused. All right, still have more time. Good, good. I think my king's sort of cozy there with huddled up with the pieces. Damn, my knight was so good there, and then he just did that. I don't see another square for my knight. Terrible. Yeah, he always played bishop f1. Yeah, damn it. Bishop is my chess king, and he can't even a name. Yeah. I mean, hmm? it was like the photo on Twitter. What did I do? Ridiculous. Frankly? I mean, uh, let me just, you know. Yay. Pose, pose with my yes. Out. Yes. Oh, so you're talking about Naka then. <laughs> Eric Hansen? What? Rosen? Man, the final position, I'm totally winning in more time. But the previous part of the game, I'm totally losing with no time. Anybody that's on Twitter has to know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Good game, sir. I mean, Thank you. Know, you. I have some modesty. <laughs> but my girl's out there. Bam! Naka pulled my pants down. No! <laughs> with a 97% survival rate. Good, good. <laughs> The government has a response to the coronavirus? I don't think they have a response. I put my girls out there. I have a bunch of beers. Bam! <laughs> Need to do that. Yay. <laughs> Go, Karen. Civilize those rooms. Oh, the blind bugger and I always play the same opening somehow. Still theory. Mm -hmm. Then he always goes here. Yeah. Last time when he went there, I played F3 and 1 because he already went here. So he improved. Every game he improves a little bit. All right, I'll play a boring move, like the boring world of Niels Bohr. Thoughts on scotch? I, I prefer Bailey's, but now that I'm a vegan, I just drink Stella. Thanks for the question. All right, this is the penultimate round. Also, it's the round before the last one. 64 players still. Good, good. And I'm playing D blind bugger where the only players who are five and or O. Always retreat. Anchor steam beer from San Francisco. Can I have steam on the stream? All right, we need 50 more subs. 50. 50 subs. I want the subs to jump, kick, stretch, and jump. 50. 50 subs. I need 10 people to donate five subs. Do it. Do as I say. Rawr. Et cetera. This position looks sort of ratty. Maybe he's ratso ritso. What's a better state of Vermont or New Hampshire? God damn. Um, I don't know. I've never been. Oh, actually, I have been, I guess, driving through. <laughs> Great players of the past was good, good. Oh, yeah. Karpov's probably here right now. We just don't know it. Customer is just too dumb. <laughs> 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 uh, whose turn is it mine I mean even this move is good but ah, Grandmaster got to go to the queen 
One bishop, what else? What's this guy doing? If he pre-moves that because a pawn takes, I should go here. Yeah. What a genius. But, okay, I'm not that smart. If I was that smart, then you know, I'd be a better player. Put it in H. What, I can't defend this pawn? What? What? Okay. I didn't realize that this was stupid what I did. I realized I was stupid, but not that the moves I played were stupid. All right, so we take, and then, you know, something. I don't know. Here? Well, that's no good. How did I mess this up? Am I a GM at messing it up? Exactly. Uh, why do I sack the exchange? All right, so I go here. He takes with a knight, and then I resign. At least I know my place in the world. Oh, he didn't do it. Let's see. I still have more time somehow. Yeah, that was dumb what I did. I should have played queen c4. Yeah, d4 was... Maybe I should have played bc. Man. Every move I made was wrong. No wonder I'm playing badly. Ooh, this is a tough decision. If I do this, he'll play knight takes, and then I can sack the exchange. And if I do this, I just win easily. Or I don't like that. I want to sack the exchange unsoundly. He'll be scared because it looks good. It's like, ooh, that's scary. So, you know, that's why I did it. Looks good, but never wins. Check here. And then yeah, I'll just play here. Queen d1, king h2. All right. Should be okay. Put it in. I stack the exchange, so it's got to be good. Uh, let's see. Now what do I do? Never play f3. So I did it. He's setting up for the next game. Oh, yeah, queen h5 wasn't good. King f8 was okay. My opponent hung mate and won for no particular reason. No, Corona was actually selling okay, but they were actually required to close because of the it wasn't considered essential, when obviously it's essential, frankly. Yeah. Hooray, 410 viewers to do. Okay, last round's about to start. Um, how'd Karen do? Oh, my. Yay. You got two out of six? Man. Good, good. Uh, I got six, and there's several players with five. Somehow I, I'm sort of like chess man comics. I win, but it's not clear how. Damn. Very suspicious. Hello. All right, we need 50 subs in the next 10 minutes. We got to get to our sub goal. We're 96.38% of the way there. Whoa, whoa, living on a prayer. Somebody donate some subs. I'll take them, I swear. Frank Lee, his play is ridiculous. 440 viewer ado is the most I've had. Although I'm still losing to everybody. Naka Pookie, Chess Bra Pookie, I Am Rose in a Pookie. And Botez Pookie. All right, I'm playing the person from Lithuania, my ancestor. Who would have thunk it? My, my dad's mother was from Lithuania, and today's my dad's birthday. It's the memorial stream. So, you know, there's some sign there I can't understand. Sven Myring, god damn. My brother's, you know, that's, that's the guy from some Scandinavian country who was the illustrator for Chessman Comics. Was it Norway? Anna rules because she kicks all the bad guys in their jewels. Anna won. 
with her cosmic ray atomic gun. Da da da. B6. Bush is not a show. Not. No, it's not a not. No. He's not a. No. Pieska. Yeah, B6 is terrible. Frankly. Yeah, that's like the worst move you can make in chess. Yeah, his, his C, you know, he's gonna he's gonna get beat like you know what's Rihanna's last name again? Um, what happened here? Yo, Walt subscribed. Good, good. Thank you. Never play B six. Shall I give you some Russian lessons? Why was I speaking too quickly? I shouldn't be Russian. Sacking the exchange on my stream. In the land of Strotakoi, many more of us attack everything. We all live in a yellow Strotakoi. Charlotte Chess Center is raiding with a party of 12. Yay. Thanks, Peter. This is the famous game God versus Dan. Also followed by Jesus versus Christ. Also by the famous game Feinstein versus Giant Anus. <laughs> Bishop C2, that move is a tale uh, uh, full of sound and fury, signifying Vishwanathan. Bishop C2, the, the guy missed resigns. He missed it. God damn. I'm all over this guy like something on something else. Man, I, I, I'm looking, but I can't find a move that doesn't win. In the land of Strutakoi. Oh, every move wins so easily. I'm so confused. Two bishops, what else? <laughs> I wish they got all these jokes. Exactly. They get some of them. I, I talk about some stuff, so they, they get some of them. Not much. Let's see. Queen B4. Man, Queen B4 is harsh. Man, I mean, every, obviously every legal move wins, but queen b4, knight e7 is the funniest, but queen b4, that's like the famous game God versus damn. <laughs> da, 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 da. The only move, but he found it. No, so I take this and then I take this. I mean, I assumed he would take that, but maybe I was wrong. He's too young to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Subtle threats. Subtle's the rat. Always retreat. And then after queen here, I play, god damn. Man, if he plays king d8, you have to, if you're under 18, you have to look away after king d8. If he plays king d8, you're not, I mean, he might resign here. But it, good, because if you play king d8, I'd have to stop the stream. It's after rook d1 check, god damn. All right, I haven't seen a beating like that since the last guy I beat. Any movie recommendations? Pulp Fiction. How's your health? You know, I'm still alive. That's better than the alternative. Go, Karen. The people in the chat say, go, Karen. I agree. Let's see. Yeah, here's Karen. Man, I haven't seen a beating like that since something. Something, something dark side. All right, we still need 50 subs. 50. 50 subs that jump, kick, and jump. Let's see how Karen's doing. Everybody's rooting for her. Why aren't they rooting for me? Let's see. Karen has the one bishop. What else? Good, good. And she has an extra pawn. And she just retreated. That's good. That's got everything. Wheeler Vigia subscribed. Yay. What movie's better? No Country for Old Men or There Will Be Blood? According to Spencer, no movie's better than There Will Be Blood. 
Yeah, I probably like No Country for All Men better, but probably Spencer likes The Will Be Blood like 10 times better. God damn. But you asked me, so. Go, Karen. She can do it. Go, go, go. She She's going. Yeah, moving her king up in the end game? Good, good. Confusing the audience. And I'm the audience. I like it. Excellent. Yeah, that was close. Five seconds. All right, that was the last round. There's one game left. I'm first. D blind bugger. D is second. And Schnecky 22, rated only 1485, got clear third. And he's from Germany. God damn. Bonarici only tied for fourth. Boo. Schneikies. Yeah, I heard that Naka was watching my videos. I got some more viewers out of that, I think. Or less viewers, anyway. Grand Mall Moses, 100 cent to do's. Hooray for everybody. I mean, Schneikies did pretty good. Look at Schneikies. Five and a half, man. All right, good good tournament as per usual, except for one thing. Per usual. You want to get on the stream? I'll stream for 15 more minutes. Or you want to hang out over there? Uh, I can go down if you want. Yeah. It's kind of behind me. I'll move over a little. Yeah, right, right. I'll play one minute with the gawking rabble. I can read the chat. Ooh. Felix oh, Frias yeah. gifted five subs. Kov Uh Well, I either drink Mountain Dew or crab juice. Hey, I'm playing Jonathan Corblot. Who? Jonathan Corblot. Yeah, he's a friend of mine. Yeah, he's good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good player. Yeah, you got to watch it with him. You got to watch it with Corblot. Uh, it's already over. Hey, Storm. Damn. Frankly, you go good. Frankly, a ridiculous. Your core blood is I too wish good. I could say this name better. K2 Hegemon. <laughs> <laughs> Kangaroo. Does that hang mate in one? Probably. Man, this position is not good. There's good and there's not good. Yeah, this like position is not good. Hey, Cape Baldy. Felix Frias just no. beat me. No. Corbla beat me. No. Thank you, Felix. No, you not Corbla. Corbla beat me on my stream. Oh. No. I'm still no. Terrible. all my losses. <laughs> no. Anything but Corbla. Men with Cat did something. No, oh, not Corbla. Went away real quick. Who is the guy? <laughs> uh, I got smoked. Me? Yeah, probably. Hey, Santan. Yeah, I didn't play so well today. Is Ben playing Mr. T? <laughs> With Jonathan Corbla. I knew him before all these guys were born. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. He's fast. It's well, and, and it doesn't matter if it's slow chess or blitz chess. He's fast. He's not playing well this game, but mm -hmm. he beat me pretty easily the first game. Yeah. Pretty... Pretty easily, I would say. I'm so hungry. Man, I keep almost hanging mate in one. I never do it. But I almost hang mate in one. I'm surprised that... Who said Mr. T? That was Twitchy. Twitchy, how do you even know who Mr. T is? Aren't you young? young I'm young as Rook. I didn't take it. I moved, turned out to be better. I never even went yeah. to that show. That was so lame. This was, this was good revenge. He was on your stream. You're 40? I didn't know you were 40. It's still... It's still before your time. Zero mistakes, zero blunders. Good, good. And yeah, we have like the same rating. My rating went down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Corpla is pretty good. He does look like no, Mr. T. No he's huge. Corpla is like six three three hundred. You met him, I think, in Philly, maybe. Did I? Maybe you met him. That does seem vaguely Yeah, familiar. he's not a small guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, we have 385 viewers to do. 
We're 50 subs away from our goal of 1,600. Who's going to do it? Who, I ask you, who? People. Let's play man moth. Is he hey, a man, man or a moth? Go man moth. Wow, that was very fortuitous. That means lucky. I should then grow a huge beard. Says huge. Cosmic Theology. Well, I've sparred the clippers from Spencer. I'm going to try to, you know. I have the two bishops. Beard. What else? <laughs> Oops. I've never trimmed a beard. That was a typo. And then I wanted to cut Archer's hair, and he refused. Yeah, it's true. I've never cut people's hair much. I've cut my own hair before. So I don't mind a big beard, but, you know. Probably yeah. looks a little better if it's trimmed. B shops are great. What does that mean? B shops. The oh, two B shops. shops. Oh. The two B shops. <laughs> Mr. T is known from the A team in Rocky Three. That's right, Mr. Goodson. <laughs> I never liked that guy. I pity the fool who doesn't like T. Thanks, me Pax. So um, Rocky Three was Mipax. one of the top Rockies. It's the top ten. My hair is getting long. I need to, you know, I guess I'll just Yeah, this wait. guy is all over me Anybody like something it? on something else. Um, I could cut my own hair. I've done it before when I didn't have money to get it Oops. cut. Oops, I didn't see that. Man, oh, my God. Bishop. Oh. Hi, Karen and Ben. Mostly Karen. Oh, hey, Susan Mika. Good. Sorry, I said hey to you. Susan Hello. Good. <laughs> hey, Mark. Death Wish 3 had to be... What retitled three because yeah, Americans are too have two check down to read Roman numerals. <laughs> That's got to be true. <laughs> it's got to be true because we, you know, we elected Trump. So obviously, collectively, we're pretty dumb. Yes, I win. I feel so guilty. I, I won this game. Oh, yay. That was impossible to win. <laughs> I play great, it says, except for one thing. Yay. Appalling and outrageous. Damn you, Ben. Come Damn you all to hell. I feel so guilty because I want Trump to you know, get coronavirus. No, I do. But you want him to live through it, then, he's, then he, he can't get it anymore. That's why. No, I, I know that. I'm going to burn in hell for admitting that. But there is so no hell. I apologize. Um, Death Wish should rename <laughs> three. What is Mark saying? Americans are too dumb to read Roman numerals. I already read that. It's true. It's okay. true. It's got to be true. Oh, yeah. Even if he made it up, it's true. Now I'm probably going to get coronavirus. How do I have a cap for iced tea, but I have Perrier, but I don't have any iced tea? Mm. It's a conundrum. Stewie is beating the crap over Brian. Brian losing a bet on your opponent. That's correct. Yeah. How does Rosen have more than you? All right, now for a billion dollars. Yeah. Brian owed Stewie fit the bucks mm -hmm. because he lost a bet on a boxing match. They made a bet. Okay. Who were the two boxers? I'll give you a hint. Okay. The first boxer was Mike Tyson. Yeah. And then he lost, but Brian thought he would win, but he lost. Who was his opponent? I have no way. A real boxer? <laughs> no. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Carol Channing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Carol Channing won, so that was a good fight, too. Why Carol Channing? Yeah. yeah, see, look. Mike Tyson versus Carol Channing. <laughs> yeah, he knocks, and he's like, come on, young man. That's all that's you ridiculous. got. ridiculous. Why yeah. Carol Channing? <laughs> <laughs> now, Buster Douglas, that's that's real life. We're, talk, we're talking about family guy here. <laughs> oh, man. Buster. That Carol yeah, that's great when he fights Carol Channing. <laughs> So the whole episode, <laughs> Stewie's just beating the hell out of Brian because Brian won't even know Carol Channing. Well, I did. <laughs> I yeah. Know, but... Did she sing Hello, Dolly? She sang Hello, Mara. <laughs> Hello, Fada. Here I am at Camp Granada. <laughs> yeah. All right. D Blind Bugger D is wants to play unrated one minute. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. What are people saying? They're saying I'm shallow and pedantic, and I'm agreeing with them. Beetlejuice. Shallow, shallow and pedantic. 
Yeah. Says Court Manson. Never play F6 and win the guy's bishop. Hey, he wouldn't let me win his bishop. Ben, why don't you show videos of Naka's funny? Naka Flocka. He, there's nothing funny about Naka. Including his promoting to a knight, says Na Sam. Naka Flocka. <laughs> Is that all you got, young person? Said Scourge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Carol Channing. Oh. I think she says young man. But. Right. What does she even say that? What is she even known for? <laughs> mm -hmm. How do I know her? Exactly. You see this over here, I Karen? I know her from you see game, that? game shows. Oh, he stopped all I my tricks. It. He stopped all my tricks. Oh. Tricks are for kids. All right, I still have tricks. Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Although he plays King H3 and I got nothing. I just lose. Damn. <laughs> oh, well. It was sounded good, right? Let's see here. Kind of. God, I'm worse. I'm the worstest. I'm like some kind of wool. Can I take this? Here I am at Camp Granada. All right, let's go pawns. Pondemonium. What? Yeah, I don't care about those pawns. Let's go these pawns. Yeah, these pawns. These nuts. <laughs> Let's see how these pawns do. I don't know, it seems pretty bad. Oh, I see a cat there. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Well, I'm just losing. Oh, oh you didn't take it. Oh, yeah, because it's. Right, because I'm losing. Yeah, he's queening with Chuck. Still playing for the win. Da -da -da -da. What happened to the stream? Says DC. DJ88, what do you mean? Da, 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 da. Ah, I lost on time and he had 0. 0.7. You know what was good about that game? <laughs> no. It was unrated. Oh. <laughs> the crowd liked it, though. Mm -hmm. Now, this game is rated, conversely. Frankly, conversely. Yeah, I need some emote ideas. Please email emote ideas to karen at atlchessclub.com and I will be making some emotes. I need ideas. Gotcha bitch is a good one. Mm -hmm. Need to do that one. Mm. But I have to not, you know. Yeah, send me some emote ideas. If you put it here in the chat, it will not be remembered or noticed. Or noted. <laughs> noticed or noted. But, um, man, when I play Queen G3, it's going to be the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> it shows you what kind of life I've led. Well, all right. If you're going to hang everything, it is rated. So, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> zero mistakes, zero blunders, zero missed wins when it's rated. <laughs> when it wasn't rated, I lost. Oh, man. All right, we need 49 more subs. 49. A Pat Buchanan. 999. Nine. But you still have to email it. You have to email oh, it. yeah, the gotcha, bitch, they might not let us do. You could say gotcha, bick, because bick is Latin for generosity. Mm -hmm. Right? I can do some permutation of that word. You could have gotcha, bitch, and then it's a picture of Glory B. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, a dog. Garcon means boy. What movie? Uh, I don't know. And what scene from the movie? I don't Pulp know. Pulp Fiction. I, I've seen that one. Garcon, coffee. I gotta see then it she it brings again. coffee and says Garcon means boy. Oh, okay. I need yeah. to see it again. Who's, who said it? How many emo mm -hmm. slots are there? A whole bunch because I need to remove <laughs> all those GMs. You know, probably eight. No. How come Hakaru lost 800 viewers? That's a serious question. Mm -hmm. Instead of Caro had 3,000, now he has 2.2? That seems like he lost more viewers than I've ever had. Man, horrible. Um, Royale with cheese. <laughs> oh, man. I think it was 100,000, Spence, not 10,000. <laughs> yeah, that quote, nobody knows but me. What? Also, I think, I think Mark's wrong. I think it's 100,000. Isn't it 100,000, Mark? That that quote is so funny that when I, I, I called Aviv to tell him and I couldn't tell him I laughed too much. I had to type it. Yeah. Okay. So the movie Bubble Boy, which is not a good movie. Not, not a good movie. It's not good. I would have guessed that. Okay. okay. But anyway, that was weird. I'm pretty sure it's 100,000. Yeah. 
So in the movie Bobble Boy, here's what happens. The Bobble Boy leaves. Mm-hmm. He's in a bobble, but he's, he leaves. So the, the mom and dad are like, you know, what do we do? Oh, I have so, seen that. So the mom calls the police, and the police are like, well, Bobble Boy's been missing less than 24 hours. We can't look at him. So she's like, all right. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, I don't know. No, that's not the same Bubble Boy I saw. I saw no, the boy in the bubble. Yeah, and also there's a Bubble Boy episode of Seinfeld, which is different. Okay, but anyway, so then what happens is she says, well, if you can't help me, then I, I wish you, it's like, I wish you something. She says, I wish you get cancer and you're nuts, and she hangs up on the police. Then she turns around, looks at her husband, and said, how's the note coming? And he's writing a fake ransom note. Oh. So she says, here's the note. He says, Dear police, we have kidnapped the bubble boy. We demand $100,000 signed the Jews. <laughs> then she looks at him and she shakes her head and she like hits him. She says, you idiot. The Jews, the Jews. Nobody's going to believe this note. The Jews will want more than $100,000. And he goes, oh, man, when I saw that, that was, you know, that's pretty that's Swoozy Kurtz. <laughs> yeah, that was good. So, Nobody's going to believe that. Yeah, that was good. Best of three. What? That is a good joke. All right, what are we doing? Challenge. You want to do hand and brain? Oh, yeah, we could. All right. Challenge us. Uh, five minute unrated and make sure you're under 1600. And then I'll like, I'll say the moves really loud. No, you're, it's, you're saying the moves. Yeah. All right. Uh, What's the time control? Five minute unrated. All right. The Jews. Nobody's challenging us. I guess we win. 754. Good, good. All right. 200 cent to do from debugger to B. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right. You didn't say anything yet. Pawn. All right. We still need 49 more subs. Pawn. Come on, sub people. Pawn. <laughs> Moves. All right, we still need more subs. Also, I haven't heard. Da, 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 da. Let's go. Somebody give like a hundred right. bucks or something. You're here to move when I say move. What? Then I get yelled at for going too slow. You what? Gotta, when I say go, you gotta. Go. You can't say go. You can just say the name of piece. Pawn. <laughs> hey. What? <laughs> I never yell at you ever for playing too slow. It's never happened. Um, Bishop. Well, we have more time. Mm-hmm. All right, somebody go da 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 da, so we can buy more toilet paper. King. We bought we bought toilet paper today. I mean, by we I mean Karen. I'm not allowed to go to the store. Yay, go Karen. That's true. I know. I couldn't believe they finally had it. Yep, they haven't had toilet paper at the Publix we go to for like two three weeks. Then when she tried to buy it, what? I didn't hear you. Just a second. Ah. Then when tried to buy, they're like, no, ma'am. And Rook. she's like, look, bitch. What? Rook. Bam. Well, yeah. only one of us can go to the store for social distancing. Yeah, they only wanted us. Okay, yeah. right. Yeah, the sign yeah. said you can only buy two things of toilet paper. Bishop. So she did. And then they said, ma'am, you can only buy one. And Karen's like, look, bitch. <laughs> well, yeah. the, the sign said two. Right, so no, it says two. No one said two. And they went, all right. And she, you know, not going to argue with Karen. Yeah, and then some guy was like, Karen, in the back. So the woman's like, never mind. Go, Karen, but stay there. Uh, Look, when I buy toilet paper, I buy shit. When Karen buys toilet paper, she buys the good stuff because we want to feel it. Bishop. Yeah. What movie was I paraphrasing? I don't know. Pulp Fiction. God damn, and this wins and this wins. I'm so confused by that move. Um, right, I guess that's better. <laughs> I wanted to play Bishop G6, but H4 made this move better. <laughs> that's a good move. Uh, queen.
Yeah, we've been using the chess. Oh, I'm sorry, Rook. I didn't hear the noise. We've been using the chess club toilet paper back um, mm -hmm. stash. There's a certain toilet paper that Karen likes, so we use that. Um, Rook. Yeah, I like this soft and pretty. That's not what it's called. Yes, it is. No, it's called Angel Soft. Oh, yeah. <laughs> soft and pretty. What? There is a soft and pretty. There is? Mm-hmm. I got confused. Anyway, let's get back to Dimebag, who gave 20 subs. Um, 20. Pawn. 20. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Dimebag. Thank you, Dimebag. Um, let's see. Bishop. I guess I always play Bishop and Fate. Mm -hmm. Yay, 20 subs. This is the most subs we've ever had on our channel since the channel started 26 months ago. We could still get to, to 1,600 on the stream. Go Dimebag. Uh, Dimebag has more guitars than you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dimebag has at least Rook. 30 guitars. What move? Rook. Rook. Dimebag, how many guitars do you have? At least 30? Maybe he doesn't want to stay on the stream. Go Dimebag. Go Mommy. Uh, Yay, 20 subs. 40 guitars? Good. Rook. Dimebag says he has 40 guitars. Yeah. That's pretty good. I, when I gave Dimebag lessons, Rook. there was a lot of guitars in the background. Rook. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rook. 420. Thanks, Alex, Siffy. 420. Good, good. He gave 420 twice. Yay. Rook. Yay. Go, Alex Iffy. Rook. Rook. Always repeat. I'm going to Rook. I need to always repeat. Yeah, good, good. Look at this. One mistake, zero blunders. Mm -hmm. Look how well we played. Mm. Let's do a report. I'm going to say 91. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Dookie by fall. Karen and I, Karen, thanks, Alex. If you get 420 twice, because there's two of us. Yes. Um, Thank you. Look, we played 94.8. Yay. What did I say, 92? I thought you said 91. Maybe. 27, we played better. Mm -hmm. We made no blunders, one mistake, two inaccuracies, no missed wins. 94.8 is pretty good for hand and brain. I would yeah. say, like, me and Nigel probably played it like that. <laughs> we played hand and brain. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. that's good hand and brain. 94.8, god damn. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hardbiz, a hard man is good to find, right? What? Exactly. Mr. Mr. Hardbiz. No. Ben, I challenge you how? Well, what? What is it? Is Yoda challenging me? What's going on here? <laughs> Have you met Nigel Short in real? What? You mean like in Real Madrid? Like, what do you mean? Nigel Short's stream with me here, and there's a video on our Chess Center channel. Mm -hmm. What? I, Nigel Short was at my first wedding, my second wedding, my third we wedding, and then we're all going to die, so that's it. Yeah, we, we met Nigel. Yeah. I, I knew Ni no, Nigel Short's about 6'3 and a half. He's pretty tall. Yeah. Oh, Real Sociedad. I apologize. Yeah. Confused I am. He's a rather flirtatious man. Yeah. How many wife you had? I can't count that high. Come on. I mean, some of my marriages were so long ago that you can't remember that. You guys are like, how do you remember chess games you played 30 years ago? But you're like, oh, what? you don't remember your marriage from 30? I, you guys don't remember that, right? Yay, Mark said he's met Nigel, etc. Mainly, etc. All right, how long have we been streaming for? Two hours, nine minutes. Nine, 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 nine. Hastings, 1895 was my first marriage. <laughs> this is half right. <laughs> what year was I mar married the first marriage, Hastings? What year? Um, let me think about it. Yeah, good luck with that. No, yeah, I think I damn. can do it. I think I can do it. Um, what does that say? Oh, somebody donated, but it happened after the, the yeah. Well, 420 again. Was it um, 1988? Oh, so close. It was 80. 
89. Oh, okay. It was January 89. Oh, That's okay. so you were Damn. you were close. It was the 89 Hastings. <laughs> now here's what's funny. That tournament, there's like the super duper tournament, then there's the Rufus tournament for me. Yeah. The super tournament was won by Nigel. He, oh, really? he won the Hastings 88-89. Yeah. Mm. Now, let's let, other than Mark, who I know knows the answer, and Spencer probably actually Spencer probably doesn't know the answer. No, Spencer doesn't know. Mark, I'm not even sure Mark knows, but he probably does. The 80 89 Hastings, which Nigel won. Yeah. I played in like the Doofus tournament for like IMs and GMs and 2200s. Mm -hmm. That they had like a round double round robin with you know, okay. it's 2800s. Okay, who won the tournament I played in? The Doofus tournament. When I say Doofus, it's IMs and GMs. It's just not you know. Mm -hmm. Who won my tournament? That one's that one's. I'm not sure Mark knows that. I think he knows. Mark probably knows, because Mark was there, so he should know. Hmm. Anand is incorrect. Hmm. Brown, he wasn't there. Anand still is incorrect. Rufus is close. Carlson wasn't born yet, so that's wrong. Kasparov won the Doofus tournament when he was, what? When he was the world champion? What? Luke Von Whaley is a good answer. It's wrong, but that's, that's a reasonable answer. Simon Williams, I don't, he might have even been there. I don't know. <sighs> no, they don't know. Badur Joe Java. I give you a hint, but it's too easy if I give you the hint. Um, yeah. No, they don't know. All right, the answer is, I don't want to give him a hint because it's too easy. Right, I'll give you a hint. It's a woman. <sighs> Clear first. Judy Polgar? Yeah, Judy Polgar. Yeah. She was 13, maybe? Yeah, and she beat like five GMs. Yeah. The truth hurts. Yeah, it was Nigel, Spielman, Smyslov, Korshnoy, and it was a double round robin, but I think, and there were two more players, or four more, in the, in the, in the Hastings, the real tournament. Okay, now... Which former prime minister was at the closing ceremony of the Hastings 80-89 tournament? Margaret Thatcher? No, she was the prime minister, the former prime minister. Uh, it was, it, not the current, no, not Blair. Blair wasn't, no. It was before Thatcher. God damn. I didn't know who was before Thatcher. That's right. Yeah, come on, you British guys. Come on, British guys. Let's go. <laughs> Churchill. Some of your answers are funny. Boris Johnson. <laughs> Churchill. Lord Palmerstone. I mean, Pitt the Elder. Lord Palmerstone. Pitt the Elder. <laughs> They're arguing at the bar who the greatest prime minister was. Mm. Let's see. Anybody know? You got nothing? He died about four years ago. He died recently in the last five years, but I don't know when. Also, you've never heard of him. If you're British, you've heard of him. If you're not British, you haven't heard of him. All right, I'll give you guys a hint. There you go. Bonarici looked it up. I mean, yeah. James Callahan. Okay. He's your favorite prime minister. Yeah, I spoke to him and his wife. His, his wife uh, told him what to do. Hey, there's Manmoth. Short, Korshnoy, Spielman, Golko, Smyslov, Larson, Costin, Chandler. That's right. Yep. Yeah, short won quite handily. James Callahan. God damn. They know who James Callahan is except for one thing. Yeah. They don't know who he is. No. Is, is he British? The guy who got the right answer? No. James Callahan, that's the one everybody forgets between Heath and Thatcher. Exactly. Yeah. He died 15 years ago? God damn. It seemed like it was pretty recent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is your best chess player? What does that mean? Can you translate that? Um, My best student? I'm not sure. Is that what he means? Or the best player that I've beaten. That's what I think he means. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Did you ever play Bent Larson? I did not. My dad played Bent Larson. Might have been an assignment, though. Wes has played Bent Larson. Yeah. 15 years is pretty recent. Yeah. All right, time to go home and, and watch Tiger King. <laughs> yeah. We like it because it has the word king in it. Yeah. It's, it's surprisingly... Good. <laughs> Surprisingly. 
Right. Now, we're not supposed to tell you this about Tiger King because you have to watch it, but I'm going to give something away. In the fourth episode of Tiger King, 